How can you design a book cover that gets people's attention, but you're not a designer and you're unsure how to do it? Well, there's a really easy way to do it and I'll show you how in this video. Hello Home Bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And on this channel we talk a lot about Amazon KDP and how to make low content books which are things like planners, notebooks, journals and uh, it's a really good way of making a passive income. But some people are a little bit unsure on how to design their covers. The covers are really important. It's the first thing your buyer sees. So it's really important to have something that grabs the buyer's attention and that's designed very well. Now, a lot of us are not graphic designers. So what do we do? Well, actually, you don't need to be a graphic designer to design book covers. We're not creating works of art. We're creating something that is catching somebody's attention, that has a pleasing look. But there are certain things we have to consider when we're selling something online. And especially with books, the number one thing to consider when you're designing your cover is that it looks good as a small thumbprint. Your customer will only see a really small thumbnail of your cover and that has to be enough to get their attention. So how can we do that? Well, there's a really easy way to do it in Canva and Canva is free. You can do this on their free version. So let's hop onto the screen share and I'll show you how. And I have decided that I want to create a recipe planner and I've decided I want to make it 8.5 by 11 inches and it's going to have 120 pages. So you need to know all this information before you make your cover because your cover is going to be created all in one PDF. So you're going to have the front cover and the back cover and then in the middle will be your spine and to help you with that you can download a KDP template so I've typed in KDP cover template calculator into Google let's see what comes up here's our cover calculator so we click on that and now this will create our cover dimensions for us so we click on paperback depending on what you want to make you can also click hardback but we're going to make a paperback and we're going to select um, black and white interior paper type will be white paper page turn direction is left to right for us unless you are creating a book in a language that reads from right to left this is a little bit confusing because it says page turn direction and we actually turn our pages from right to left but what they should have said is they they really should call this um reading direction <laughs> because we read from left to right but anyway i don't know i'm sure there's a good reason why they call it page turn direction all you need to know is really that it's left to right. The measurement units will be in inches and the interior trim size. Well, we decided we want to make a book that's 8.5 by 11 inches. So you use whatever size that you want to make your book in. And then you type in your page count. In this case, we want to make it 120 pages. And this should now calculate the dimensions that we need. So here we are. The full cover will have to be made as 17.52 inches by 11.25. And that is because the cover is created by making the front cover, the spine and the back cover all in one PDF. And then when they print our books, they kind of wrap the cover around the interior. So we need to go onto Canva and type that in. So we click on create a design and we type in 17.52 by 11.25. Make sure that you've got it set in inches. If you forget and you leave it in pixels, then it won't give you the correct size. So always be careful to create anything in Canva that's KDP related in inches. And then we click on create design. So now we have our canvas. This is where we're going to create our front cover, our spine and our back cover. And to help us even more, we can download a KDP template. So we go back to our calculator and we click on download template and that will then download a really 
useful template for us. So I'm going to click on it and show you. So it creates a PDF version and a PNG file. And because we want to upload it onto Canva to help us, we need to upload it as a PNG. And what happens usually is that the KDP file is too big to be able to upload it onto Canva as it is. So we have to reduce it. And it's actually very easy to do that. Just double click on the file and open it. And then you right click on it and you go on to resize. So you click on that and then where it says define customs dimension, it gives you the size of the file, which is actually really big, 10,508 pixels by 6,750. That's huge. No wonder we can't upload it onto Canva. So what we do is we just decrease the size and you can decrease it right down to 2,000. I usually find that is enough and then it adjusts the height automatically. So make sure you keep this maintain aspect ratio box ticked and this will resize your copy. So now we want to save this one because this is the one that we want to upload onto Canva. So once you've saved this on your computer, you go to Canva and you upload that file. So we go on to uploads and we click on upload media and then you find your template where you stored it. You click open and it will then upload it onto Canva. So we have our template uploaded onto Canva and now we can click on it and place it onto our canvas and we just make it fit our canvas and you can see it fits perfectly and now we can design our cover. We design the front cover in this section here. This will be the spine of the book and this will be the back cover of our book. And you can see where they've left a little place here for the barcode. So make sure that when you design your back cover, you don't put anything important here because it will be covered up by the barcode. So let's start designing our cover. And the first thing that I do is we looked through Amazon and we could see that the books that sell a lot of copies have really clear, big and bold titles. So let's start with the title and we're going to create a blank recipe book. So our title is not going to be blank recipe book. That's going to be our subtitle. Our title has to be something that draws in our readers, our customers. We want people to buy this book. So we don't just want to call it blank recipe book. That's a little bit boring. So we want to call it something different. So let's go on to the text and let's type in something. So I'm going to call my book my best recipes or actually I'm going to call it my best dishes because we want to avoid a repetition of words. Uh, we don't want to use the same words in the subtitle that we've used in the title. So because I want the subtitle to be blank recipe book or blank recipe planner, I don't want to use the word recipe in my title as well. So I'm going to call it my best dishes and I want to make it quite big, but I'm going to change the font. So let's try a few fonts. This is all about just trying different things. Um, there's nothing that says you have to use a certain font. It's all about your putting your stamp on your book and it's all about your design skills. So don't worry if your first books don't look too great. The more books you make, the better you get at design. And even I sometimes make books that aren't really that good. And I look at them afterwards and I think, oh, I could have done this a lot better. But that's how you learn. So don't worry. Just use whatever font, whatever design that you think is OK. And you you learn as you go along. So this one looks quite interesting, but I still don't think that's great. I like these script fonts, but sometimes they don't read very well. At the moment, I'm not seeing one that I really like. I'm just going to go through some of them and see what I can find. So I'm going to go with this one for now. Let's see how this will look later. We'll just um, build our cover first and then see how it goes. So I'm putting, I'm putting my title in the middle of the front cover. So remember that it's got to be in the middle of this white space here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a subtitle underneath. So I think I want this all on one line. So I'm just going to pull the text out a little bit and then push it back in. I rather 
have the title all on one line. If the title is very long, then of course you can have it over two lines or three lines, but I like short titles and I like them being on one line. And now we want our subtitle, so we go back on text. We'll just call this a blank recipe planner. So now we don't repeat any of the words and I'm going to choose a different font. Maybe we'll use a nice script font for this. Another important thing to learn is font pairing. That means, you know, which fonts go well together. It's also really what you think looks good. And a lot of this business is also about having fun. And, you know, I love designing covers and I have fun with it. So I hope that's how you look at it as well. And I hope you are having fun designing your covers. I think this looks quite good and we'll also have a line for the author name. I think I'm going to call the author Sue Cook. This is this is not a real book. I'm not um, publishing this on Amazon so I'm just making this up um, just to show you how I would do it. I haven't checked if this name is already taken or not. It sounds like it could be so don't copy any of this because <laughs> this is not researched. So this author name, before you choose an author name, always research that it's not already taken. And then I will use the same font as I have for the title. So make sure that your books are consistent. Don't use too many different fonts. I think two or three fonts is is okay, but more than that and it starts looking messy. So I've just used two fonts. And now we can start putting something on the front. So we can do this in many, many ways. There's one way to do it and I'll show you other ways of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this so that I can show you another way to make your cover later on. And for now, let's just add uh, a photo. So we can go over to photos and I can see one here already that I think would go really well. So we can use this photo and what I would do is I would turn it around. These kind of photos are ideal because it kind of leaves the space free for your title. Let's try and fit it so that it covers your front cover up to the spine. So this is the tricky bit here for the spine because we don't know exactly where the book will be folded over but we know that we have to at least bring it into to about here so that all the white spaces are covered. And I think that this actually looks quite good like this and you can bring it over and cover the spine as well but I quite like keeping it just on the front. Um, it doesn't matter if it goes over a little bit and then what I do is I take this template away. Let's delete that. And what I do now is I choose a color for the back cover and for the spine. We can pick a nice green color. I like to pick colors that are already on the cover. So let's try a nice green. Let's try this one. I think that looks quite nice. And what I'm not very happy with is the title. I think this could look better. And in actual fact, because there is so much white space here, I might actually decide to do it over two lines. Let's have a look. This way I can now make it bigger. There's plenty of space here because there are so many clear spaces here. I can really play with the title and place it in the best way. And I think that the black color in the title looks a little bit harsh so I will try and make that a different color so maybe let's try the red to pick up on the tomatoes so that looks slightly better and then what you can do to make your titles really pop is to use an effect on the text so let's click on effect and I quite like to use the shadow so now we've got a shadow but what I do is I don't like the shadow to be the same color because the shadow is usually dark. So I change that to black. And what we can do now is we can play with the, with the shadow. We can make it bigger, smaller. We can change the direction of the shadow and we can give it a little bit of blur and we can increase 
or decrease the transparency. So if, if I increase it, uh, the shadow is slightly darker. There we are. So that's starting to look better, but I'm still not very happy with this shadow effect. So I'm going to try something different. Let's see what this looks like. This looks slightly different. Um, it just gives it like a darker effect. And then I will change the, the color of this font as well. So now that looks a lot better. And then what I usually do is I put a little bit of a description on the back of the book. And also sometimes I put some pictures of the interior there. But I do like to put a, the description of my books on the back because I think that makes it look a lot more professional. So this is one cover and we can make the title bigger even so that people can really see it when this comes up on Amazon they can read this title really well and I wanted to show you another way of making a cover which is really easy so we've got the same size and the same title and subtitle so this is just to show you how we can make different covers very easily you've got the same title subtitle so we leave all this as it is and we just take a different picture now and maybe we use something like this as we did with the other one we'll just place it on our front cover and we take it right to the to the edge of the spine so you can either let it go all the way over you could even make it a whole back and front cover like that but um, I think I'm just going to do it like this and then make the back cover a different color so let's just take the cover to the spine and uh, I can now take away this template again as I did before so let's remove the template but obviously now you can't see the title very well so again what we can do is we can put something behind the title like an element just a square element will probably do so I will put that behind the title very quickly Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font this time just to make it different to the one we had. And I'm going to try something different. Let's try this kind of cutout font. This would be good for coloring books. <laughs> so maybe this smaller one. I can put the title on two lines. Bring that in a little bit and now I can make it bigger. Like I said, I mean, the bigger the title, the better because people will be able to see it really well and I don't like this brown so we'll change that color to make it a bit more more interesting and nicer I don't like this green but the good thing about Canva is it picks up on the photos it didn't do it before in the example but it has done it here it has picked up on the background photo and it's showing us the colors that are within that photograph or some of the colors and let's just pick this nice green that looks much better and I'm going to use the same color for the back cover of the book as well. So that looks much better now. And what I need to do is I need to center this a little bit. And I think again what I will do is I will place something interesting in between the letters, between the title. I think I will space the title a little bit further apart. So we click on the text and we go on to the line spacing tool and we just make it a bit wider the spacing between the lines so now i can space this fork in the center and make it look a bit more tidy so we could leave it like this this is another cover that we can make we could change the color of the font if you want to make it a little bit friendly looking so there are so many possibilities your covers can look so different depending on the colors that you choose depending on the designs that you choose so canva offers a lot of possibilities for you to make quite nice covers but bear in mind that one of the most important things is to make the titles really big so people can see it so let me show you another cover that you can make using a different technique and uh, let's try a, a pattern sometimes patterns can look really nice so let's type in food pattern into our elements and there's some really good patterns here that you could use you could have the same sort of thing that we had earlier where you have a gap here in the middle that you can place your text in or you can just have um let's try this one i just want to show you how i would 
design a cover using this and for that I'm going to put my template back just because I want to check that I've got everything right in the middle and I've centered everything and I'm going to set this template backwards I can see the design yep it's perfect and because it doesn't quite go to the bottom I'm going to duplicate that pattern and just place it underneath so that it's it's a seamless pattern so let me take this template away now again and um, obviously now by doing this and let me maybe make this a different color let's keep this white so by doing this we can't really see our title very well so first of all I'm going to just change it to black so I can see it better but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something behind the text so we can see it better so I'm going to go on to elements and all we need is like a circle or a square let's try this circle shape and we're just going to place it in the middle of the book so that we can place our title right in the middle of it and so let's just center the title a little bit better there's our title and we can put the subtitle underneath and we can't see the author name very well so we need another element so we can make this one square there we are now we've got it the way we want to i might make this a little bit shorter you adjust the circle a little bit so this is another way you could do it and then what I also like to do is I like to put in something like a spoon so now we've got three covers that we've made I'll just show you side by side so these are your three covers that we've created they're all very different there's all different techniques you can use to make your covers on Canva there's many more and I will continue making videos to show you how to make covers on Canva and I know you can spend more time on yours and make them look much better than these ones this is just to demonstrate how you can make different types of covers on Canva and what is important the important thing is that your titles are big visible and that they can be noticed and that people can read them even when it's a very small image so putting them side by side like this I can already see that the one that stands out the most and that I can read the best are the first two the third one could do with a bigger title so it's worth looking at your covers in this kind of view on Canva so that you have a really small image and it gives you a good idea of how your buyers see your books on Amazon they only see a small thumbnail very similar to the view that you have here on Canva so it's a good idea to check in this kind of view when you click on the grid view and that gives you an idea how your buyers will see your books and looking at this I would already change this title here and make it bigger because I think this is still too small for people to read but you know this is this is how you can make different covers and uh, as you can see it's quite easy so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you saw how easy it can be to design a good cover and uh, let me know how you're getting on with this if you want to join us in making low content books on Amazon I've got a playlist that walks you through it step by step I leave a link to that playlist here and uh, come and join us and make low content books it's not as difficult as it sounds and it's a lot of fun and it can create a good income for you so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video